Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today, Saturday, here a little early. I think I got a few hours, maybe at the most, to be out here. But uh, we're gonna work on the rat rod. I think we're gonna drop the gas tank down and start kind of uh, finish up some welds. We're gonna try to box in uh, this piece back here. And then we may try to paint it that color I'm thinking of just kind of get see what it looks like on a big flat piece uh, thinking thinking like that uh flat army tone green would be kind of a neat thing for the whole frame and we might do the front components like in a flat black the rear axles and flat black and stuff like that that's what I'm thinking. Let me know your comments below. But uh, but we got some uh, welds knocked down to make it look just a little bit nicer. And I figure if I'm going that far with it, then I might as well get it all kind of knocked down nice and uh, painted. But the gas tank does have rust in it, so get some kerosene, put a little kerosene in it, and... Uh, Maybe some uh, washed rock or something in there, kind of just shake it around a little bit, pour it out. And I think they make some kind of uh, lining for motorcycle gas tanks. So I think my dad said he did it one time. And uh, we may buy enough of that to coat the inside of the gas tank. Because it, it does look pretty bad in there. I don't think there's any rust through holes, but I'm not 100% sure. But we'll drop that today and uh, try to box in the back of the frame and kind of go over any kind of little spots that still need some weld. I know there's a, a few here and there, but let me turn you around here quick and I'll kind of show you. All right, there's a gas tank. I'm gonna pull this out. Can't really see down in there too well, but it's uh, rusty. But I'm mainly gonna focus on this area today, kind of get a little bit more even and square got some scrap metal i can kind of put in here and kind of make it look nicer then we'll probably go over this whole top section knock down these welds need to put some more weld in here i'm going to check this and make sure this is okay may, may try to put a little bit more weld in here and over here uh, other than that this seems pretty good just needs to be ground down course uh, bolts are gonna come out and ground grind this down I think basically I may just work from here back today and see if I can't get all this taken care of and painted that'd be that'd be good a good day's work I think but uh yeah see let me see a little bit of daylight through there and then the bottom needs welded. I think probably the bottom on everything needs welded. So we'll try to get up underneath there and uh, get it finished out. Anyways, that's what we're planning on doing today. So I'll probably drop the tank off, take shocks off, all the hardware out. I am going to try to paint the tank, get it looking nice, clean it out. But I think uh, today we're going to work back here. I think I'm going to do like I did the Bronco and just kind of come in with highlights as I go through it. But uh, it seemed, seemed to work, uh, be more productive for me. And uh, got a little bit more retention time. If you could, please stay through this whole video. Uh, if you do, it does mean a lot to the channel. And that helps me uh, kind of get out there more and get more people helping me. So the uh, longer you stick with it. The, the more it'll help but anyways uh i'll see you in a little bit hopefully uh some of the stuff we take care of well guys i didn't come back in the updates i just started welding and uh grinding i just kind of lost track of time My wife actually wants to go eat so I'm gonna wrap it up but uh i think it looks pretty good we got it boxed in where i wanted to and we pretty much finished all the welds in the back piece of weld I don't know how, but one underneath, I actually used my welder mask and it got up underneath and right in my eyeball. Uh, 
I guess I might have opened it up before all the welds fell, or all the sparks fell, I don't know, but it just feels weird, doesn't really hurt or anything. Anyways, uh, we haven't put any paint down yet. I think I'm just going to keep on going with it and maybe try to paint it all at one time. But uh, let me turn around here and show you what we did. You can see this looks a little bit different. We got it boxed in. Should be a little bit stronger. Uh, welds aren't too terrible, but they're not great. We kind of got it knocked down. We knocked down some of these welds here, here, and here. Knock down this one, add more weld here. Knock this one down and try to knock that one down a little bit without messing that thing up. I mean, look, get that little piece off there. Uh, put a little bit more weld in here. And then underneath, doesn't look as pretty, but I need to go back through here and kind of fill in. We put weld here, there, which looks awful. There, which looks pretty bad. There, which I think that went in about the best. And this right here went in pretty well too. And we welded it up here. And down here. And over there, which is pretty good. It needs to be, to, needs to be ground down a little bit better. Like I think this one, this one, this one needs to be ground down just a hair more. But I think it came out all right. And this is plated off. So hopefully it helps with, hopefully it helps with uh, stiffening it up and not being a weak point. But that's basically all we did today. Of course, drop the shocks and the tank. There's tanks over there and the shocks are up there. We should probably get, we should get new ones, new shocks anyways, but yeah, just the uh, kind of finishing up welding stuff back here in the back. I think it's going to be pretty solid once we're done. Uh, I think everything underneath needs to be welded. Uh, that looks, seems welded up. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe just that back part and uh, some stuff up here. Right here, and I saw some other things up here that need to be welded, but I think it looks pretty good. We'll, uh, like I said, continue stripping this down, and then we'll come and clean it and paint it in one, one big swoop. I also try to put weld here and there, just kind of help reinforce where the gas tank goes, but it turned out pretty ugly, so I stopped. Anyways, I think that'll do it for me today. Uh, tomorrow we'll be on the Bronco frame, I believe, unless I get the uh, anchor in to uh, continue with the rat rod, which is a good possibility because I'm running out of time to get it done by October. I don't know if you saw it, but I posted we got the title and the uh, tag for it, so it's ours. And that made me kind of want to get this done sooner, so we may be back on this kind of finishing up welding stuff and uh, getting ready to paint. I need to pull transmission drive shaft out so I can get everything at one, one just big swoop. But anyways, made this far, uh, comment rat rod in the comments below so I know that you made it all the way through. Uh, meant to come in between, but I just couldn't. I, well, I could, but I just wanted to kind of get as far as I could, and I think I did pretty well today. I'm with ha happy with how it, how it went. But uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please hang out, uh, like, comment, subscribe. It does help the channel. And if you made it this far, that really does help out a lot. I think we're at 850 subscribers, so we're right there at that thousand mark. And once we hit that thousand mark, that's uh, a big milestone for any channel, especially for this one, going on three years. So. So I'll say thank you again for all the support and uh, hopefully, I don't say hopefully, but I'm not sure if we'll be on the rat route again or the Bronco. Uh, like I said, I got to really, really want to get this rat rod kind of done. So 
we may be jumping on it more. Uh, sorry about my Bronco guys, but uh, we'll come back to the Bronco too. I'm not leaving it. I just only got about a month to get this together and on the road and we're, we're road worthy. So we may be hitting it pretty hard here pretty soon. But uh, thank you and I'll see you next week.